Hello everybody, I'm the Travelbox Gamer and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts, it's a normal run. Now, that little light, if you come back to Neverland at the clock tower, for every hour, you actually get a little item. And, to be honest, it is in real time, so that's 12 hours in total that you have to do this. It's not needed, but it's a nice little thing that you can do. Just a reminder, episode 16, I mentioned that I was going to do an item video. As you can see, I've gone and grabbed a bunch of items, but at the same time, that means I was also leveling up. So, I might be a different level than you are right now. I think maybe... I want to say maybe 10 levels above, but I'm not entirely sure. After we're done here, I'm going to head off to the Olympus Coliseum, because I think we need to do the Pegasus Cup's time trial, and then the rest of the Hercules Cup, like with the fighting alone, and then the time trial itself. For making items, I know you can get to at least maybe three tiers, four tiers, before you get to items that don't appear at this point in the game. And I know that once you get to like 15 items made, you do get an ability called Encounter Plus, which makes it that if you were to leave a room and come back, the Heartless would respawn. You wouldn't need to go like two rooms away, so yeah, it's good for item hunting, basically. Should be after this one. Alright, now we just exit out. We talk to you. Hey, why didn't you give me the ability? That's weird. And a lot of the items that are here, we can't get the item just yet. Dark Matter. Dark Matter. I think it's made of the next list. Yeah, that's all we can make for now. Oh, here we go. Thank you. And before we leave, we do need to talk to Merlin because I think we unlocked one of the weapons. I believe the Dream Shield is by getting all the arts. I believe. So just to recap... The summon gauge, the amount of time that you can have the summon is based on the party's MP. So, if you want a little more extra time, the Dream Shield will probably be a good choice at the start for Goofy, as it gives him more MP than his regular shields. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Seven Elements also gives him a good amount of magic, but that's like, end of the game. To be honest, we don't really need to do this stuff because it's extra, but we get extra stuff for doing so, so, you know, you, you might as well do it. I think for completing it alone for the Pegasus Cup, you get another tech boost, or was that alone for the Hercules Cup? Or maybe you get an item. Dark Matter, maybe? Let's see. Just double-checking here. Yeah, we didn't do the time trial for the Pegasus Cup. I think after this, I'll go and do the jungle slider because I don't think I've done it yet. Thunder. I might just skip to the end where I get it all in one go, so we're not going back and forth. And then after that, I might skip to Traverse Town and get to that one cutscene. It'll be setting up the next world, so I think that's where we'll be calling it. Which is weird because the other playthroughs, right now they will be on like the last moment. Well, not last world, but second to last world, so we're a little behind. If I do have any advice, before you go to the next world, I highly do suggest you go and get as many items as you can now. 
mainly because at a certain point the heartless aren't just gonna change they're also gonna get more health so it might be a little more difficult to deal with them so best do that now then wait later For the Pegasus Cup, if I were to pick what round would be a little difficult to get through, I'd say the Black Fungus. If you're not lucky, they'll go into their metal form, and it'll take a bit just to defeat them. Ah, uh, speak of the devils. So you want to take these guys out as fast as you can. Stop works, and I know gravity is a good spell to use on them. But you really want to make sure... Yeah, see. It's not good for a time trial, to be honest. We're wasting time. Come on, get out of it. It's a good thing that the others aren't that difficult. Otherwise, that would probably... Throw, like, it probably threw us off greatly. So let's see, that was the fourth one. We need two more, I think. Because it goes down one, so this last one will be the second one. So this one and the final one, I guess. So if you recall, the strategy for fighting these guys is that you want to aim at Yuffie first, as she's going to be healing Leon throughout the fight. This time around, we're a lot stronger, so it's not going to take us several times to beat them. And with Arzakanum, it makes short work of, you know, these guys. And of course, if you block that a set number of times, you can revert it back to its normal sword, but we're trying to kill these guys as fast as possible. In other words, during a time trial, don't be as defensive as you usually would. Be as aggressive as you could. That way we could get these guys out of the way within the time limit. Hmm, I was right, it was dark matter. Okay, now before I go, I'm gonna equip myself with some ether. I mean, we have a lot of it, but also because I'm going to be needing this to keep my MP up. Fighting alone shouldn't be too difficult, at least not now. But you always want to be a little prepared. Again, like I said before, the hardest fight here will probably be Cloud. Once you get past Cloud, the rest of the fight shouldn't be too difficult. Of course, in groups like this, when you have one big Heartless and a bunch of smaller Heartless, I like to get rid of the smaller Heartless because they're the ankle biters. They're going to be more of a distraction than the big Heartless. Of course, with this one, it's kind of hard to deal with when it does that, but it'll come down soon enough. If I do have to threat on one thing, it will be the charge attack. Because, okay, in Neverland, it's easy to dodge the charge attack because you can fly. Everywhere else, not really. 
I mean, you could still dodge roll, but I always thought it was easier to fly dodge it. I think the next round is the rare truffle, isn't it? Okay, so during this round, I do suggest you either A, heal yourself, or B, get your magic up. I think I'm good with the magic, so I'm just going to go and attack this guy a bit. And then the next round, I'll be ready to take on Cloud. Cloud, well, he hasn't changed much. So, really, you just got to focus on... You know, beating him. Since there's no, you know, timer right now, we could go as slow as we want. So, if you're feeling a little nervous about facing him with a, you know, on the time trial, this is a good place to practice. Or, you know, just fight him a couple times, learn his moves, beat him up. I think right now, Arsakanum would be a good thing to use, because he hasn't done his desperation move just yet. I spoke too soon. You also gotta be careful for that, too, because, um... That could've killed me. I couldn't have gone faster, but it's still passable. Now, of course, like I said, the first time around, the next couple rounds might be a little more difficult because you have a bunch of aggressive heartless that are trying to attack you. Personally, personally, I like going for the flying ones first, specifically the pirate or the air pirates. Not only because their punches hurt, but they also act very aggressive, so it's good to get rid of those guys first. Then deal with whoever gets in your way, really. I think the next one's going to be a couple airships, one flying pirate, and two normal ones. So, get rid of the flying, the, you know, air pirate first. I didn't kill him. I don't know why I didn't kill him. There we go. Okay. Now everyone's done with. We deal with these guys. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with. But like I said, be careful for the charge. If they ever get too high and you don't want to play their game, you can always hit them with gravity. Oh, and that move. Well, as you can see, I got in front of the green cannon and it healed me. I think I mentioned that before, but if you see them do that, take the opportunity to jump in front of it so you could get healed for free. And like that, we'll be fighting Hercules again. Again, he's not that difficult, so he shouldn't be too much of an issue. But you still want to be careful. A couple of lucky hits could knock you out. It's that move specifically that I don't like. As a kid, I can't tell you how many times that mo one move <laughs> ended up killing me. I don't think it's any other moves. I think it was just that one spinning move. Of course, I felt that guarding kept me safe. I mean, no duh, but it kind of looks like you're making him move away from you whenever you guard. I always thought that was a little funny. And that move, well, that move's so easily dodgeable. I think the only way that I ever got hit by that is if I actively 
let myself get hit. Or maybe it was when my, you know, controller was drifting a bit and I couldn't dodge, like, out of the way. So, yeah, that other move shouldn't be too much of a problem. And his punches aren't that, you know, his punches aren't too dangerous. I mean, granted, maybe they'd be more dangerous if I let them hit me, but I'm not going to do that. That didn't work. That didn't work. What the hell? All right, let's try that again. I guess he's immune to thunder. Huh. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. You know, I've been hitting you a couple times. Maybe it's because some sort of, you know, there we go. Now for the tricky part. Beating the Hercules Cup with the time trial. Again, like I said, the biggest problem will probably be Cloud. Everybody else should be okay. Of course, make sure you're fully prepped. I think I might be a little... I don't think we're going to need all these items. I think we're going to be okay. But, you always want to be double sure. Granted, I'm pretty sure with the customization that I have for Donald and Goofy right now, they'll probably go through the uh, items I gave them, but... Whatever, we could spare those. Now, typically, I say aim for the smaller ones first, but for time trials, I suggest, you know, hitting the big one as fast as you can. They have more health, and they're harder to deal with. Be honest, one hit should do it. Just hit him once. Not really much of a round, but I always take this as like a prep round before, you know, before the boss. Mini boss? Then whatever. So, like with Leon and Yuffie, throw all caution to the wind and kick his ass as fast as you can. Thank you, Goofy. If we're lucky, we could get him before his death, you know, his desperation move. Oh, well, there goes his desperation. Man, my timing is off. We're also running a little low on time, but... There's this little secret with this cup that 
makes the time trial a little easier. I'll, I'll share it when we get to the actual round, so don't worry. Alright, so we made it to the Hercules fight. The thing is, looking at the timer, we have a minute and four seconds to complete it in. That doesn't sound too impossible, but at the same time, knowing Hercules, how he likes to go invincible, all you have to do is simply restart. It'll take us to this round, but the timer, it'll be frozen. So you can take your leisure time and kicking his ass. I mean, I wonder if we could beat it within a minute and three seconds. But, seeing how the fight's going so far, I have a feeling like we probably wouldn't. And, like I said, follow my advice from other bosses. Be less defensive, be more aggressive. When given the opportunity... Hit him as hard as you can. Arsicanum will probably be good right now. I might finish him off of Arsicanum. Oh well, shit. The invincible frames could only last so long, I guess. Alright. Well, now that we're done in Olympus Coliseum, we'll be heading off the deep jungle, and we'll be doing the jungle sliding minute game. So, what you want to do is you're going to want to jump down here. I think we've seen this before, but during this part, you want to collect fruit. Collecting all 10 fruit between each slide gives you an item. I think there's also something tied to the time trial as well, but I'm not completely sure on that. Luckily for you, you'll be able to complete the slide within the needed time if there is one. I'm not entirely sure. Like, for the first one, I think it says in order to get the prize, you need to beat 30 seconds. And then it keeps on going further and further, so you should be fine. Or was it 38 seconds? I'm not entirely sure. For this one, I do suggest going a little slow, mainly because I think it's hard to see the fruit, but also there's a set that you could easily miss if you're not careful enough, and it's always this like second slide portion that always messes me up, so just be a little careful for this. It's got very like stiff motions too, so yeah. And of course, you're going to want to take the path that I'm taking. The other path will drop you down in a different part of the deep jungle. But taking the left path here would take you to the next slide. Now, this one's a bit fast, so you want to probably slow it down a bit. But the fruit aren't hard, like, they're not hard to miss. They're pretty easy compared to the others, so it shouldn't be too problematic. And we want to take the path to the right for the next slide. Now, this one might be a little tricky because I think there's one spot where it feels like a little, I'd say, hard to turn on. I think that would be it. But as long as you go slowly you should be able to grab it and then move on to the rest of the fruit and we want to take the path to the left 
And then the last one, as long as you keep moving slowly, you should be able to grab them all. So, no problem here. And there's no turn for this one as it's the last slide. So, once you get all the fruit, you can go as fast as you want. Doesn't matter where exit you're going to go through. It ends here. Now, back in Traverse Town, what you want to do is you want to talk to Sid over here. He's going to install the new navigation gummy, and we'll be able to go to the next world. Just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm worried. The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you. So as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I believe in you. Huh? What's the matter? Um, nothing. Kyrie, did you call me? Sid's right. The next world that we're going to be going to is Crawling with Heartless, and they're going to be very strong, so... Before you go there, make sure that you're prepared. And before we go, I do want to drop by Geppetto's because if you if you defeat enough heartless ships during the gummy ship routes, you do unlock new gummy ships through them. So I want to see how many we have. I think we probably got like maybe two, three bottles from him, I think. I'm not too sure of the numbers. I'm sorry. I really wish I did. It's just... I think in total you need over 5,000 to get all the ships, but like I said, I'm not entirely sure. Plus, I do know that there is a special model that you could get from Pinocchio. To get that model, you're going to have to go back and forth between the room 
for at least 30 times and then talk to Pinocchio and he'll give you the modeled ship. This is how you know if he's done giving you ships. He'll start talking about Pinocchio. Or he'll, he won't give you ships, but yeah. Just remember, you could get a special ship from Pinocchio here. I kind of just skipped the whole thing because it is kind of time consuming. Not too much, but it could be a little, like, annoying. Especially if you lost count. Now... As you exit, Donald and Goofy are going to pipe up and they say, Hey, it's time to go to the next world. But Goofy would say, Maybe we should check the other places first. Take that advice. Well, with that being said, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Take care and please like and subscribe.